Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again in the Cursed Estate and we are ready to go and do something that I am I am very scared to do, but I it has been requested and I do want to do it. It's 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 very scary, but we're going to do a zero light run into the wield and the thing from the stars is here. We're bringing Allah here because he gets bonus damage from darkness, which is quite nice. Um, as well as the fact that he just has some really good skills. He has this here, which is going to gain bonus um, healing when Torch is below, um, which is really nice. And as well, he's got this death grip here, which is going to lower the damage and speed uh, and buff his own damage. And then we have Call from the Grave, which is going to do more damage, clear corpses, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, he's rocking the Otherworldly Bell for the um, self-healing and ally healing and the Focus Ring for that extra crit and accuracy. Then we're with Will and uh, Sophia, the, the godly combo, although I'm a little scared because he has the uh, embrace. I might just take a, a thingy with me and cure that off him because I think that could be quite problematic because um, if he hits a team member while he's at like full damage, he'll like kill them. Uh, so we, either way, we have him uh, with the Martyr Seal and the Head. Uh, interesting combo with Sophia here. Um, and Sophia's got a pretty interesting combo in terms of trinkets. She has the Lens of the Moon Watcher, which has the Mirage damage, which we don't care about, the accuracy, which we don't care about. What we do care about is plus 20% chance to surprise monsters, minus 20% chance for parties to be surprised. Then we have the extra scouting chance with the minus 20 monster surprised, but minus 10% party surprised. Essentially meaning we have a really low chance for party surprise, even though this isn't the greatest combo because we're kind of counteracting the um, the chance for surprise that we add anyways, which isn't great. But I couldn't really think of another good combo for trinkets, and I think that even without the um, chance to surprise the monster, the massive massive bonus to um like not being surprised ourselves is great and then we've got will june coming in with the absolutely huge heals buffs um and things like that and the the massive heals there and then we have the rose offering as well just as a way to get us back in case we do get surprised uh this should hopefully work out pretty well i'm a little bit scared for this uh, and we're doing this for the um for the candle of life for the antiquarium which Sounds really, really good, to be honest. We can actually make her into a bit of a healer with this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to bring full food because we need full food. We're going to bring seven shovels. This is a long exploration as well, by the way. Do you know what? Let's just bring full of pretty much everything. Why not? Just in case. Uh, and I am going to bring one of those. Laudanum can be useful here. This is this is risky. I know that I'm bringing torches and I don't actually need them because I'm not going to be using them, but I'm still going to bring them anyways, just in case. Uh, one thing we do need to check is camping skills. Um, no. There you go. Prevent nighttime ambush. Unfortunately, that's uh, with a stress, though, which we don't really like. Um, okay, that's, that's pretty good. There's some good stuff here. Um, yeah, we have a. There you go. That's that. That's the prevent nighttime ambush that we want there. Okay, research. Good. Okay, so I think this is a pretty good uh, group of gals. Uh, like I said, we're gonna have to get rid of that straight away, pretty much. Uh, but let's jump on in and see how this goes. We do have one diary ranger here, uh, written by me. Uh, this is one for Nina, our grave robber from the last exploration. She said it's hard to tell exactly what, but there was something up with those two. Dismas and Rhine. There was certainly an air about them that I just couldn't place. Normally my intuition on these things is impeccable, but something dark and truly horrid lies between the paths of those two. And that's just referring to the uh, the, the the family killing that unfortunately went down there. Um, and I think I think the the air about them just it the the people are able to see the thick air <laughs> around. Right. So first of all. Let's do that. We need to get rid of that. It's just, we, it's too high of a chance. And this is complete 100% of room battles. So luckily, this is a pretty straight shot. For a long exploration, this isn't that long. And the fact that it's a straight shot is really nice. It means we don't really have to worry about the options of going different places. We forgot to lower our light already, so that's good. Um, let's just do it now, shall we? Uh, how do we lower light again? Is it like that? There you go. Snuff that out and hit 
Willa already doing a lot of good damage here. And um, let's start off with that. Always want to start off with this. Everyone it gets extra damage and stuff. It's really good. And it's a free action, so we always want to start with that. Um, then let's incite. Lower his HP, but we can give him a second turn. Nice. Already you can see this is going well. We should get a lot of uh, loot out of this as well from doing this. A lot of loot. Okay, so party heal is going to be the best for us right now. Uh, I'm pretty much just going to do that. Of course, he won't take any healing until he's low health. As you can see, though, this is already really good. And that uh, that healing there is really nice. I wonder if we could pair the otherworldly bell with healing trinkets. Oh, awesome. Just realized. If he gets a crit, the otherworldly bell heals for extra because of his healing skill. And on top of that... If we use this, it bonuses his healing skill. So, this is pretty... That's, that's a pretty good combo. But yeah, this, this does mean this can be buffed by healing skills. So, it might be worth pairing that with the syringe sometimes. That could be a lot of uh, a lot of sustain. You could probably do without a healer uh, in, some, in some teams just from that. As long as you have one main person killing most things, that could work out really, really well. Let's keep on jumping through here. Maggots apparently do an insane amount of damage in the dark, so we'll be getting rid of those as soon as possible. Apparently, they're really, really deadly in the dark. I've not experienced them, but apparently they can be incredibly deadly. So, luckily we resisted that there. Um, we don't need to do any healing, so let's just buff up Willow. Willow's going to be a powerhouse here, essentially. Once he gets to Death's Door, we'll really start to see that come into fruition. Um, always want to start with this. And, yeah, let's just give him another action again. He's below the HP threshold now, so he's getting the bonuses. Nice. That's a free skill that does us some good. One moment. I was sure then I heard something fall over, but apparently not. Either way, let's carry on. Oh, my God. We're already hitting for 48. That's insane. Already hitting for 48 is big. And there you go. There's just crits coming out everywhere. Crits coming out left and right. Probably leave a maggot, won't you? You did indeed. Parasite even, should I say. I do like the birds. They're pretty They're pretty cool as, as enemies go. Um, being prevented. Damage received. Suffer. Yeah, we can keep using this on him with basically no consequence at the moment. So I'm going to keep doing that. Ow. That does hurt. Uh, yeah, let's heal for party again. Nice. That's getting us down there. Good. And there you go. We, we always want to make sure it's not on death's door. And we'll normally use food to do that. Uh, when we're outside of combat, that is. We're going to get rid of the blood. We don't need that. But this is already pretty enjoyable. I'm liking this. We've not done a zero light run in a long time. So it's it's in, it's interesting. I'm, I'm very interested in it. We do have a hag here. Stress is going to be a problem. Nice surprise as well. Start off with that. Get that huge damage buff going. And we incite him. Nice. We heal party to make sure everyone's full. We do that, which is going to get us a kill. And it's a free action. Now we're onto the blocks. We're at death's door. This is where things get a little spicy. As long as we keep the blocks going though... We should be fine. 42 damage with no crit is amazing. And we've got two blocks now. Um, unfortunately, we can't target her. 61 on a crit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, I don't know why... Oh, I was going to say, I don't know why you can't hit, but it's obvious why you can't hit. Um, this is going to deal some damage to us, but we, we might as well do it because it's going to buff our healing nonetheless. Taking some stress here. We're going to take more stress in the dark as well. Um, we always want to be piling on the blocks here. Always. Another embrace in the dark. Stress is going to be a real problem with this with this group, I think. Annihilated. My god. <laughs> um, I'll take, I'll take this because we don't have one of them yet. And then let's quickly eat up a little bit just to get us off Death's Door again. But this is a fun build. 
I, I will tell you, this is a very fun build. What does this do again? This is a quirk. Who's low on quirks? Positive. You've got a lot of positive. You've got a lot. You've got a lot. You've not got that many. Let's take it for you. Tracker. Decent enough. Not really useful on her as much, but we do use her to attack every now and again, so it can be good. It can be good. Right, keep pushing forward. We're going to have to use camping mainly to get rid of um, stress, I think. I think that's going to be our main way of doing it. We'll get rid of... I kind of want to keep that just in case things go wrong. I've not used that before, so let's not take the busts here. At least for now. How many shovels did we bring? Eight? With the fact that we brought eight makes me think that's okay. 70, 90, 80, 70. Nice to Sam. Probably should have gone for the people that had stress and used those, but the higher chance is the obviously better option. Oh, but already this is uh, this has become a pretty interesting build. You can target him all you like. There's that repose to start. <laughs> He's already started it. If these guys go before him, this could not. This could be bad, but for the most part, should be okay. Um, let's keep doing this. Oh, what the hell? I don't know why that healed him then. That shouldn't have healed him. That get that's get got rid of his block. Yeah, I don't know why that healed him actually. That shouldn't have healed him. Oh, because he was at death's door. No, okay, I'm wrong. It, it should have healed him. It it worked correctly. That's okay though. That's okay. We've got to be paying attention to that in the future. Masterfully executed. Okay, good. Nice hit. Hello does like no damage when he's not critting. There you go. Now's a problem because we're not at, when we're, we're not uh, Death Star and we are. Uh, sorry, we're not set up with a block. There you go. Now we're set up with a block. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I love this build. It's such a risky build to run, but it's so fun. It's just so fun. The value there is much better, so we'll take those over that. Make sure we eat one just to get off Death's door. Put a key in there. Nice. Oh, I love the uh, the noise when you're in the dark as well. Empty crate. Okay, a bit of food there. We can get through that quite easily. We'll probably end up sleeping around here, camping up up here or here. See how uh, see how the group looks at that point. Luckily, we've not been surprised as of yet. Two combats up and um, up this way. This is good. I think we get food from this, don't we? Yes, we do. That's great. Uh, we don't need that. It's cool, but we don't need it. Luckily, we brought tons of stuff here, so we can just kind of use it. Um, hmm. The foolhardy alike. That's a lot of money to, to throw away. Okay, maybe we will get rid of the Flask of Agony. We will. We'll get rid of the Flask of Agony. And I'm going to get rid of the Loudenum as well, I think. I'm not, I'm not going to use much of it. I probably spent more on the Loudenum than that was worth, but whatever. Right, first battle with these sort of guys. These guys can be pretty problematic because they do a lot of group damage. There's Death's Door. There's the Block. So we've got to be very careful about, about our blocks here. We've got two at the minute, so we're good. And now we've got three. Can we only have have two? Maybe we can only have have two. Oh, nice. He dodged. He kept his block. That's great. That is great. That's going to knock him back off death's door. There's a big hit there. Ow. That's okay. We can heal ourselves up in a minute. Damn, we can't quite reach there. Let's just get rid of the body then. Did absolutely nothing to get rid of the body. That did the. This guy's almost dead already because of that air uh, repurse as well. God damn, that, that repurse is so strong. I never did this. Not that I need to now. I really probably shouldn't have done that, but. Let's start healing some stress.
Nice. The group heal is so strong. Taking a shank, but no, we dodge. Surprising, but very nice. And we finish him off. I do love running this build. It's so fun. It's just something different, isn't it? Something quite unique. Okay, I've got some doggies. Probably end up taking some rabies here, but let's hope not. So let's start with this. The texts. Then I think we'll go with the extra action straight away here. This should be pretty good for pretty much two kills, I think. Okay, that's fine. We resisted. Okay, not quite Death Star hit yet. There's a kill. And we'll get another turn here. Which this will give us our uh, first block. Give us our repost as well. And we'll probably just go for the kill on the dog here. Even though it's a massive overkill. I think it's worth it. Okay, good. This will heal him, so I don't think there's any need to do that. So let's just heal you up. Escape cloud. <laughs> oh my god. It's just wonderful. Oh, really? A dodge? That's a shame. Make sure he's got another block. I think he can only ever have two at once, so let's just be aware of that fact. <laughs> Buff him up to see what sort of damage he can do. Bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Bad idea. Didn't even get rid of a block for some reason. Wow. <laughs> this build is nutty. Nothing's left inside the tent. What a shame. Okay, destroy another one of these. Holy hell. I wonder if we'll get the thing from the stars. Also, apparently, when you've got no light, Shambler has a chance to show up as well. So there's, there's also a possibility of that. So who knows what could happen in this uh, in this quest. We shall see. A bit more scouting. We're getting good, ones with, good with the scouting. Definitely. I'm sure I'll do it with you. Nice. Bit of stress relief there. Okay, but this is just such a fun little group. These, these guys are like the death squad. <laughs> the absolute death squad. They lurk within the night. Even Will, Will June looks really good in, in the dark. Like, he, his, uh, his whole persona suits this a lot. We've got some interesting new enemies, the raiders. Nice crit. That death stars us. This is a pretty risky thing to do, to be honest. I shouldn't be death starring here, really. But we'll go for it anyways. Now that we've got two blocks, we're, we should be fine. But yeah, that is a little bit risky. We're going to buff you up again. Just keep you incredibly stocked. Exposed to a killing blow. Holy shit, that was bad. Holy shit, that was bad. Um, we'll start off with that. He's got two blocks already, so let's just give him a second action. Oh, my God. We, actually, we shouldn't be giving second actions when there's things that are stealth. It doesn't make any sense. We do have a de-stealth here, don't we? Or at least bypass. Yes. Indeed, a devastating blow. Ooh, we're out of, we're out of room for money. Um, what, should we, what should we get rid of to make room for money? I guess holy water. We don't really need that too much. Uh, make sure you heal up there. We can get... Oh, we just got rid of holy water. That was a bit stupid. Oh, well. I think we'll... I think we'll eat with you a little bit. Just make sure you're up to a decent amount of health here. Um, can we... Let's camp here. We can camp here. Huddled together. I love the way he stands as well. And vulnerable. So here we'll go with that there. Prevent nighttime ambush and gives us that less chance to be party surprised. Then... Um, Uh, I don't really know if we want that. And Willow takes his mask off here as well. Never, never realised that before. Um, okay, we want his mortality debuffs. 
I think we'll definitely go with that. That's really good. I have one companion, extra stress. Nah, we don't really want that. Remove totality debuffs, party. Extra prop, resist, and slight chance for stress. I think we do that. Even with the, the chance for stress, that was good. And we all got stressed again for some reason. Not exactly sure what that was about. Stress, stress, like we, we, we took on so much stress then, and I don't know why. Hmm. We're probably going to get some, get some stress checks coming up. And I know that uh, you have a massively reduced chance to get virtues, so that ain't going to be too great. We're going to have to stress relief here. Wing slam. It's annoying, but should be fine. Puts us into death's door. Will, unfortunately, is getting checked. He will not possibly. Yeah, I gotta say, there was no way. He's fearful now. Unfortunate. Okay. Oh, and of course you had to leave one, didn't you? It's gone, though, with a 61 crit. It is very gone. And he gets massive healing from crits as well. Gone, Holy hell, he can just sustain himself of crits and crits alone. That's insane. I'm gonna say I wouldn't try that. <laughs> he basically can't not crit, so I wouldn't try that. Oh my god. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless indeed. Holy hell. Holy hell. What we got here? Another group of schmucks. Right, buff you up. <laughs> this is just the Willow show. Willow is the best boy. Even crits with that. I love that. That activates his repost. And it gives us another hit. Basically, this guarantees we get two blocks, which is great. Wow. <laughs> Has he ever not crit? I need to check what, like, when hovering over my next enemy, how much chance he has to crit. Because it's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. Bit of blight. You're on two blocks, that's fine. So let's do the, do the texts. And then de-stress. Not that the de-stress is that useful, honestly. Nice crit. Right, so here's a <laughs> here's an 83, 83 percent chance to crit. His base chance is up to forty six. What? So he gets he gets um fourteen from his uh, from his death seal. He gets um what the hell? How is he getting all of this? Uh, plus 8 there, plus 9 there, plus 25 there. My god. <laughs> oh, holy hell. I just love the fact that his stress is on zero as well. Everyone else is like shitting themselves and he's like, nah, I'm chill. Okay, I will, I will heal the group here. Oh, of course you passed the turn. We won't heal anything. My god. My god. You will get rid of that as well. This is just crazy. We're not going to end up needing five more shovels here, so we can dig through that. Oh. This is going beautifully. We got one of these guys. Two big stress deals, but we got the surprise. That's great. That sets us out. Uh, I am going to heal party here. We all need it. This starts us off. We could probably kill him in this hit here if we crit. We'll have like, an, uh, like a 50 something percent chance to crit here. 37. And then we did 37 damage. It's dead. It doesn't dissuade the sharpened blade. Guys, it doesn't. Wow. Just wow. I am a bit worried about Will, though. His stress is getting very high. 
No. Oh, thank okay, thank you. Thank you, Will. That was necessary. Thank you. Remind yourself oh my god. This is awesome. This is awesome. Ah, oh, my god. A stealth hag, though, is problematic. A stealth hag is definitely problematic. Double the actions for this bad boy. That's fine. Honestly, embrace the dark on him. Because he f bloody well loves the darkness. I'm a bit annoyed that that doesn't lower your health when you, uh, when you miss. I really wish it did. What? The double dodge? That's very annoying. I really want to get to death's door. Okay. Um, I think we go for the party heal again. Fortunately, no crit heals yet. We benefit a lot from that. Or it's Shriek not, not coming off. One more round of stealth here. Um, let's just do that. Hit everything for a good amount. Incite more action on you. You need it. I'm just going to go for the crit heals. I'm not getting them. I'm trying though. That's 13. Here's the repose we needed. We should be able to hit the bird in the back there. We good. We, we good. We can. And then one more round. Unfortunately, we probably won't be able to hit him here. I keep inciting double action when I shouldn't really. It's fine though. Holy fuck. Will, please be okay. Sophia's paranoid now. Darn. Darn. Oh no, he dodged as well. Heck, it's okay though. Hello is here to save the day. And he even saved us some food as well. Awesome. Right, down we go. Wow, this has been insane. I mean, this is the most stress we've had in a while, but to be honest, that was to be more than expected. We just gotta be very careful with Will. Like, Will could genuinely have a heart attack at this rate. Um. See, the thing is, I'm like, maybe I should camp, but last time we camped, it gave everyone a ton of stress, and I don't know why. So, maybe I shouldn't camp? Maybe that's a terrible idea? If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Right, I think, how much, how much d chance do you have to disarm this? Oh, <laughs> we can't do that then, can we? Damn it. 55 chance is not enough. Oh, Will, don't die. I do like you, Will. Okay, we've only got one more actual room battle left. Only one more. Okay. What we got here? Surprise, that's great. We might be able to get a clean, a clean slate here. It's on 159, my god. We need to stress relieve here. We have to. That didn't kill it. God damn it. I was really hoping that'd kill it. Nice. Killed that. I probably should have finished that thing off, but because it could create it could create another, and that would be terrible. It did exactly that, you dastardly dog. I'm gonna do this and try and get the dodge chance just so we don't take any more stress. Okay, that was good. Took us out of death's door, but that's okay. We shouldn't need to do as much damage as we've been doing anyways. Bad idea. He didn't even get rid of our block. Just a terrible idea, wasn't it? Going for the crits. God damn it. Give me some critical heals. I need stress relief. Got 155, my dude. It's way too much. Way too much. We're going to get rid of the uh, medical herbs for now, I think. No, I'm not taking that. Okay. 
This is a lot of money. Damn it, I was like, please don't let there be a room battle in this one tile. And of course there's a room battle in this one tile. And of course, not only that, it's a guy that can deal an insane amount of stress, and now he's in the back where we can't hit him. Great. That couldn't have been a one-shot kill, could it? God damn it. This is bad. Will, we might have to leave before we, we finish this. Fearful. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, people. Oh, that's really bad. It's going to give this dude a turn. I really don't want him to have a turn. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Um, Do this. That's normal. Oh my god, I'm so scared for Will. I know it's going to heal him out of his death's door, but I'm going to do that anyways. Please, no. Thank god. Oh my god, I'm so, so scared right now. Okay, let's just keep the stress relief going. Oh, why with the crits and rabies? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, Willow! You fuck. Oh my god. Did you just dodge? You did. Oh my god. Willow, you cannot. You cannot do this. Oh, 180. Wait. I think. I think Will's dead. Because if we leave, if we retreat, we take on stress. Willow has just killed Will. Oh my god. Oh my god. Will's dead. Will is dead. You need a stress heal, dude. But never hidden. Oh my god. You need to kill him, please. Guys, you gotta kill him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys! You, you, you just gotta kill him. You've got to. Oh my god. Oh, can we... Oh my god, this is so bad. This is a bad idea, but... 192, right. I reckon this is what we do. Please don't die, you fucker. A moment of respite. Right. <sighs> My god. The coming horrors. Do we not have anything that lowers stress? Wait, self only. Oh my god, self only. Why? Did you just refuse to do that? You. Absolute asshole. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't you dare, oh, Will. Oh, my fucking life. Will. Will, 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 Will. I didn't know that you could survive a heart attack. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Right, I'm doing it. I'm risking it. This is a terrible idea. Don't you dare take any more stress, you motherfucker. Oh. Okay, this is this is good. No stress dealers. Oh, 
for one, let's blast that light up so we don't take any more stress. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Just like seven damage, it's crazy. Right. That's fine to do. You should take even more stress reduction here because you're low on HP, which is great. You passed your turn. Good. You did that. Cool. Okay. Okay, once we get once we get our boy Willow up with his up with his uh specific moveset. Can can you give me a turn, please? Can I have a turn? Can, can I Can I have a turn? Thank you. Um I think we do this. I know it seems like a bad idea. Stop stop doing things, please. Oh my god, that is like no damage. Okay. Nice kill. No death door, sadly. Oh my god. There's the death door. Okay, we're gonna get a second hit here. We go for that guy. Okay, now he's got two blocks. Good, you're dead. You Nope, no you're not, you dodged. You're dead. Good. Oh, my fucking life. This has been insanely stressful. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We made it out. Yet be driven from our woods. <sighs> 39,000. Oh, how satisfying is that? <sighs> my god. <laughs> That was that oh my god, that was insane. We dug for months. But holy hell was that fun. My god, I've not had my heart pumping in this series like that ever. That was close. Will survived a heart attack for God's sake. My god. Oh, that was just unprecedented. That was so unbelievably good. Right, first of all, get all these guys. Treated. Sophia, um... Now, we need stress heals on you guys first, don't we? Will, you can pray. Sophia, you can go to the piece of meditation and alert. You can go in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> my insides... My insides feel pain. <laughs> Powder keg, extra damage versus range, extra damage versus beast. That's a lot of range stuff. Uh, librarian, debuff, resist. Forbidden chan, 10% and chance to grant an extra turn. Hmm, interesting. Kind of cool. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. God, I'm, I'm going to be reeling back from that all night now. I'm going to think about that in my sleep. Holy hell. That was crazy. We do have a champion arbalist here. Um, I'm pretty sure we already... Yeah, we already have a champion arbalist. Oh my god. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a very, very interesting episode. And a very risky one at that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.